It's one of the standout locations in the sport. The infamous Faf Jump at Rally Portugal, attracting huge crowds every year, gathering to witness a spectacular aerial display WRC style. Last year's acrobatics were right up there, so much so, this stunning leap by Toyota's Esa Pekalapi was voted by motorsport fans throughout the world as the FIA action moment of the year. We'll get the young Finns take on that jump in just a moment. Faf once again offering a dramatic climax to events in the Power Stage shootout, the jump located towards the end of one of the most coveted and populated locations in the sport. Of course, when you are in the start line of this stage, you are always thinking in this small part with a lot of other people, no? Because it's like a party for the spectators, spectators uh, waiting a lot of time there for, for see the cars, and when you arrive there, you can hear, you can hear the, the, the guys like uh, crazy, no? So it's, it's really good. It's strange when you're on the start of half because it's quite secluded, uh, so there's not that many people actually on the start of the stage, and even for the first, you know, two or three k, it's you know you don't see a lot of people, and then all of a sudden, okay, you start to see more and more and more, and then closer that you get to the jump and, and that arena, uh, especially the the tarmac, the tarmac uh, place where you, where you go here and right, then you really start to see just a crowd of people, and they're so enthusiastic. It is incredible, to be honest. You see the flares going off. It's a pretty special atmosphere, and uh, you know that gives you a lot of energy inside the car. The beginning of the farm for stages actually can be quite difficult. There you have to push hard and, and you are really at the focus that, but then you come where the people are. I mean, then your atmosphere is sort of, you want to just push and you want to fight more. Yeah, what I love the most of this stage is simply the profile because it's a beautiful stage to drive uh, with this famous big jump. We see that every year people get caught there. Um, and it's super close to the end, so it's, it's like you don't want to end the rally there. Good point. The big jump just before the stop line is surely the worst possible place to get it all wrong and potentially ruin all that hard work. But it can go horribly wrong, as we've often seen in recent years. So in the excitement of the occasion, with the desire to put on a show for all those fans, what's the best approach as you make your way through the famous stage? Uh, the focus is uh, always the same, uh, to go as fast as possible, uh, try to avoid any small mistake. Every slide, which could be a bit too wide, uh, can lose time and uh, obviously in the second pass you are focusing for the power stage points. So uh, I would say the feelings are the same. The only thing where uh, it's a bit more scary is because it's completely blind. So uh, yeah, uh, you get a bit of that feeling that you are not 100% sure where you're going to land, if you're going to land on the four wheels or on two. Get all the action, all live. Anywhere, anytime. WRC Plus, all live.